Hi, welcome to the Amber Shows. I got a selfie stick, so now I can walk and talk to you when I'm on my YouTube channel. I love it. I'm so happy. It's my yard, my yard man, so I can walk away from him as he makes all that noise, and I can still do my show. Okay, so breaking news right now is about Bobby Christina. Um, there has been a tent put up in the back of the Peachtree Christian Hospice uh, Center, and also a hearse is, has pulled up to the back. I'm hoping that, um, that she has not passed away, but, um, or passing away at this moment, but uh, my prayers do go out to the Brown family. The only thing that I've learned is that um, Leola Brown has stated a couple things. One is that it was definitely not anyone in the Brown family who tried to pitch those pictures of uh, Christina on her deathbed. Also, uh, Leola, on her Facebook page, she put all that information. Uh, also, the, the hospice is saying that no one has passed away at the hospice at this time and that um, maybe the tent is out there for purposes so that there won't be any pictures taken from her room. But I can't understand why a um, hearse would be there. So they're probably just not letting us know. You know, this girl has been in uh, no quality of life in a coma since January. And uh, I know it, it might have been hard for her to even let go. And, you know, so I think that maybe she was waiting for her dad to have a, the daughter that was just born. And her spirit will lovingly go into her new little baby sister's body and live on. Um, I do think that when you don't have a quality of life, that it's time to go. And I feel really bad uh, for the Brown family. And uh, I feel bad for Christina, as I know we all do. Such a tragic, tragic situation. So again, uh, a tent has been put up outside Bobby Christina's uh, uh, room outside uh, and a hearse uh, is supposedly there. Um, also, I wanted to talk about the president did speak on um, Bill Cosby uh, in, a, in a sorts. He didn't say his name, but he was asked a question about uh, the Bill Cosby situation because there's a petition going around for his medal um, to be revoked. He received a Medal of Freedom from the White House years ago, which is like a really prestigious medal, and now uh, protests are calling to have it taken from him. Uh, so they asked the president what they think about that medal being taken from him, and his words were, if you drug a person without them knowing it, and then you have sex with them without their consent, that is rape. So that was the president's answer, which is really a good statement. Also, uh, for you guys who have an iPhone, especially my brother-in-law, Will, who loves new technology, uh, make sure that you go and get the Ibotta. Go to your app store and get the I-B-O-T-T-A. Great app. You actually get real money back from every place that you spend money at. They give you the money back. You don't have to wait for coupons. You don't have to wait for anything. You actually get cash money back. Go to the help in that app and learn how to do it. You put in all the stores that you shop in. You put in what type of food that you buy. Uh, you can do it for restaurants, grocery stores, uh, everything. And you get money back, actual money, from the establishments while you're there. So I don't know if it works for smartphones because, you know, us iPhone people, we get special privileges. All right. Um, also, I wanted to talk about, oh, um, Sandy Bland. Very sad situation to me. You know, you can't be going down there to Texas and messing around because they really do have good old boys in Texas. Texas ain't no joke. And they have their own laws and regulations. And you will get killed messing around in Texas. And this is exactly what happened. Um, Sandy Bland, young girl, graduated from A&M, a and &E, a and &M, or a and &E, I think it's a and &M. Right? University or A and E. I'm not sure. Anyway, you know it's a college in Texas. Very very big college. University, actually. And she uh, got a good job in Chicago, 
moved to Chicago, and then she just came back to Texas to work again and live again where she had lived and was from. And she got stopped by the police for some reason in Texas, and when she got stopped, what happened was she was belligerent. And it happens to a lot of us. Uh, you, you might be in a bad mood. You feel like you shouldn't have been stopped, whatever the reason was. Anyway, she got belligerent, and she was carted off to the county jail. And this was this weekend. And then she got a $5,000 bill for Monday morning. And when they went to her cell, she was dead. And you know what they said? She killed herself. She had no reason to kill herself. There was only good things going on in her life. She did not decide to be driving down the street, become belligerent, and then go to a county jail, and then all of a sudden decide to commit suicide. But because she's in the good old boy country, that's what they said. Well, her parents and friends and everyone are rallying. They want uh, an independent investigation done at this county jail down there in Texas right now. And they want you, if you go on Twitter, to hashtag her name, Sandy Bland. Hashtag Sandy, B-L-A-N-D. You can go on her Facebook page and there'll be lots more information about actually what happened to her, what they're trying to say, and uh, we can try and get some justice for her family. That is so, so crazy. Johnny Depp's wife, uh, Amber is her name, you know, my namesake, of course. She um, took her private plane to Australia a couple months ago to visit her husband, Johnny Depp, who is filming another Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, uh, when she got there, her dogs were detained and were going to be actually put to sleep because you cannot bring any animals into Australia without them being quarantined first. And she thought probably because she's rich and on a private jet, she didn't have to. Okay, first thing about that is it's really a very serious situation because uh, that's just like when we had to detain people who were coming over from Africa when, during the Ebola uh, big outbreak. Uh, you know, you, you, you can bring something to that country. Those dogs could bring something to the country. And you know, nobody loves animals more than me, but you got to follow rules and regulations. And so anyway, her father came over to Australia quickly and was able to rescue the dogs and get them out of the country right away. Well, she decided to go right back uh, this month to visit her husband, who's still filming there, and she got arrested yesterday in Australia. And there, she's facing 10 years in prison because she did that. 10 years and a $75,000 fine, which is nothing. I know she would wish she could pay that $75,000 and get out of there as fast as possible. So now that's a big thing going on in the news uh, about Amber Depp. And I hope they're able to work it out. I hate to see her go to prison for 10 years, but this will, this is a learning lesson, but she won't do that no more. Did you guys see the ESPYs awards? The ESPYs awards were, were, were pretty good, uh, except I'm just sick of Caitlyn Jenner, uh, AKA Bruce Jenner. I'm sick of it. I don't want to talk. I'm so over him, but anyway, he got a, a award for being courageous. I, I, only thing that kept going through my mind, can, you know, real courageous is to be the girl that he is now, not Bruce, but to be Caitlyn and wear some stiletto heels and a dress and try and do all that running and pole vaulting and stuff that he was doing that made him so famous. You can't do that as a girl, though. Um, on the ESPY Awards, uh, which was really uh, moving, was uh, Lauren Hill uh, received a, a courageous award um, uh, because she was battling cancer. She was a young a girl who played basketball for uh, uh, Mount St. Joseph University and she continued playing while she was battling brain cancer. She passed away um, uh, about a month or so ago and her parents um, received the award. Also, which was really touching, was Devon uh, Slit. Uh, he gave an emotional uh, speech regarding his daughter, uh, Leah. Uh, she is four years old. She received an award for being so courageous as well. Uh, she received uh, the Perseverance Award and uh, she's four years old. They were hoping she would be able to come to the award ceremony, but she had a setback. She had went into remission and then uh, now uh, she's sick again. So I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, my prayers are with their family. She, she is such a beautiful and courageous little girl. And if you want to read more about um, Devon and his daughter Leah, they wrote a book together and it's called 
I'm Leah Strong. Okay, so uh, try and check that book out. It's very inspirational, as so is she. A little four-year-old girl who's battling cancer with a brave face and trying to keep her parents um, upbeat. Uh, also, 19 Kids and Counting on TLC channel is gone. Yes, get rid of your um, perverty, uh, incestuous show. Uh, you know, one of the kids, one of those 19 kids, uh, was raping uh, his sisters, uh, like five of the sisters, and it was found out, even though it happened years ago. They, uh, they act like that, you know, it was all taken care of, and he got um, counseling, and he's doing great because he's married now with kids. No, no, those girls will always, always, always uh, have that in the back of their mind, whatever their brother did to them. That will always be there with them to their grave, whether they put on a smiling face or not. That is a scar on their soul. And they even try to take up for their brother, but that just shows, you know, the sickness of all of them. I'm glad TLC got rid of them, just like TLC got rid of Honey Boo Boo when June, Mama June, decided she wanted to uh, have sex with a guy who had an uh, ex convict who came home and had, before that, had raped her one of her young daughters so TLC is getting rid of all the perverts and the and the um, uh, people who the incestuous people they had on their shows and good riddance celebrity apprentice um, has two different people who may be taking over now Donald you know is running for president and he's running from El Chapo Guzman <laughs> and I think to try and make friends with El Chapo he wants to do something good and, and, take, and take back his words about Mexicans. So they're talking about they're in works with maybe talking with George Lopez, the comedian, to uh, do the Celebrity Apprentice show, which I really don't get him doing it because he's just a comedian with bad skin, in my opinion. And he, uh, where's he the entrepreneur and what community is he helping? Because um, he... Uh, once he became famous, his wife, who was with him while he was broke, um, once his kidney went bad, he needed a kidney. And I remember him crying, asking and begging for a kidney. And then his wife gave him the kidney, and after she gave him the kidney, he left her for a younger woman. woman. So I haven't liked him since. I have no respect for him. But the second person they're thinking about is um, Magic Johnson. Now, he'd be great on The Apprentice. He's a businessman. He's a successful businessman. He's been a businessman a long time. You know, he's been firing and hiring. And he also has a great family. His family would make great TV, especially his son, the gay son. He's fabulous. He's been on the uh, Rich Kids reality show. And, you know, he comes with the, he has Louis Vuittons and he has every kind of designer bag and he throws the, the furs on. Girl, he would be funny on that show when they're at the boardroom. You know, like how Donald has his kids in the boardroom. I think Magic Son would be really, really good for that show as well. So I hope I hope Magic gets it if he wants it. Also, um, I wanted to tell you about uh, measles. Okay, measles is making a comeback, which is really not good at all. They're thinking that a lot of people are getting the measles because they're getting away from the vaccinations because they're saying that the vaccinations, uh, some studies are saying that the vaccinations show that uh, that's the reason that a lot of people get Alzheimer's later on in life uh, because of these measles vaccinations. But it's never been really proven for that to be really true. But anyway, so a lot of people aren't giving their kids vaccinations for the measles. So now the measles is making a comeback. It's really bad because if you're an adult, Measles, whether you knew this or not, the measles actually has uh, the the virus actually kills and erases the memory of cancer cells. So people who have cancer, if they're injected with the measles, they actually it kills the cancer cells. So, but the measles isn't good for you. But isn't that strange? If I got cancer, I would want to, I would take my chance with the measles because I'd want the measles put in me so that all the cancer cells will be killed. I mean, I guess it's a, you know, not a win-win situation at all. 
It's like, you know, 50 cent in one hand and a half a dollar in the other. But 